So when we moved to Asheville, we Google searched non-denominational churches in Asheville and found a couple that we felt like would work for us. And we liked the Gatherings website based on what they said and what they didn't say. So we chose to uh, check them out on our second week here in Asheville. And we were instantly greeted um, by the Connections pastor who really made us feel welcome. And he made it a point to um, connect us with another family that was from Hendersonville just to make us feel more welcome and have somebody that we could relate to right away. And then uh, we checked our kids in and they had a great time. And then we attended service, which we felt was um, really solid and biblically sound. So that, that made it really important to us to not just feel good at the service, but to also agree with what they were saying. And so for the next month, we decided to attend service and continue to go to growth track and um, figure out you know, more about the church and then about ourselves. And finally, at the end of those four weeks, um, went all in and went to uh, become part of the serve teams. Nick joined the setup team and I did coffee. We'd have all our kids running around and everybody was helping each other out and um, really being a family and just taking care of one another and really um, gave us the opportunity to get to know people as we served, just having that extra time together before service started. So that really made us start to feel like we were having a home and a community here. As the new year started and life groups started up, we decided to join life groups. And that was actually Nick's first experience ever in a small group setting. Um, and we joined with John Mark and Rayel, and they were a really great segue into what that is. And John Mark really helps with leading it so that nobody feels awkward. And I think that gave Nick a really safe space to feel like he could develop. And then just a couple months later, when baptism was brought up as a option for people to publicly profess their faith, um, Nick chose that. and. He proclaimed it with a whole lot of uh, enthusiasm, and, and that's how he married me too. He said that big, I do, um, and he's really excited to just say, I do, fully surrender my life to Christ, and that happened because of the gathering. So we couldn't be more thankful for that journey and what that means to our family, for him in leadership, and how we make decisions as a family now. Um, it just really has changed things in a positive light. Nick has really had some great guys come around him to mentor him. There have been some amazing people in our life that have just held us accountable and challenged us but loved us and helped us to grow to where we are now. I just feel like the gathering is such a big part of uh, God showing us that He called us here for a reason and showing us that purpose and the friendships and um, just the family that we've developed here really blow our minds all the time. We just think about how deep and authentic they are and how close we are with the people that we do life with here at the gathering. Um, in just one year that we've been here compared to the six years that we lived in Colorado. So it's just for us confirming that God called us here for a reason and that he has work to do in our lives and through our lives. So that's our story.